All righty, so after about like 10 minutes of messing around with it, I realized that all I needed to do was restart Ubuntu and the thing that I wanted was already set up. So when, after you install that WSL package, what it does is it goes into Ubuntu and it adds a package to it, a package that you have to restart to access, but it's a package called code. And now you have a code command. So watch what this code command does. Let's say I make a file. I'm going to type in touch my cool file.js. Now if I ls, I have a my cool file.js. If I type in code my cool file.js, it's gonna go ahead and open this up inside of VS Code. And this is going to be inherently the way that we are going to make projects from now on. We're gonna work out of our terminal and then we're going to open that terminal in code. So right now this just opened a JavaScript file. So let's say I wanted to write some JavaScript const uh, u equals the person reading this. And let me make that a little bigger for y'all. And then I will just say, uh, oh, right, I'm not in the mode. Uh, console.log u r is awesome great there we go this is just a javascript file here pretty easy good to go um another thing that i forgot to mention that i want everybody to install is i want you to look up rainbow indent i love this plugin it's probably oh indent rainbow is what it's called probably my favorite plugin um so what this does is watch this ready Let's say I tab in, whoops, let's say I uh, tab in this line of code. Well now, each, if I'm off by a little bit, it turns red. And that's good, because we want you to develop good programming habits. Let's say I do console.log. This is ugly code right now, but whatever. Hello, now you can see it changes color each tab. This might not seem useful now. Later on down the line, I think you are going to benefit greatly from it. All right, that's all I got for this lesson. Congratulations, you got code set up. We got most of the hard stuff down. The last thing that we have left to really nail is going to be Git. Oh, also something I forgot to mention is if you notice now, if you go ahead and press Control and J, this is going to pull up another terminal. Guess what? This is actually the same thing as your Ubuntu terminal. So you're going to use Ubuntu to like open up a file or like, let's let's create a project right now, actually, just for fun. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make directory. And I don't know, we'll call it my first project. I'm going to CD into, actually, I just want to open up that project in code. Actually, no, we're going to CD into it first. We're going to CD into my first project and we're going to create a few files. One of the files I'm going to create is an index.js cool. I'm also going to create an index.html, and then I'll also create a markdown.md. Great. So if I look inside of here, I should have three files now. Let's go ahead and just open up. The thing that goes after this code command is the folder I want to open up. So if I want to open up my first project, I can actually reference the current folder that I'm in using a dot. Or what I can do is I can cd out of here and type in code my first project. And now it just opened up. Going a little slow. See, starting VS Code with Ubuntu. That's okay. Hey, look at that. All those files I created are right there. So now if I want to create some HTML, hey, look, I'm going to create some HTML. Woohoo. I want to create some JavaScript. Hey, cool. I'm writing some JavaScript. I want to create some Markdown. Hey, cool. I'm creating some Markdown. I noticed actually in this index.html that my Emmet abbreviations aren't working. See if there's a quick fix. If there's not, Emmet. Hmm, interesting. Sh 
show Emmett commands. Nope, that didn't work. Eh, whatever. Div. Oh, there it goes. Cool. We got Emmett commands. Great. VS Code is set up, so you're good to go. Now we're going to be able to finally work on some projects. Uh, well, we do have to also get GitHub figured out what's next. That's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but that'll be uh, the one that I look forward to the least. There's the most, uh, it's the most work intensive to get it actually working. So go take a break. Go maybe uh, uh, go for a walk, uh, uh, go for a run, do what you got to do because setting up GitHub is a little bit frustrating. Uh, so just be mentally prepared for that. All righty. Hey, y'all.